Hi students, welcome to your language arts lesson for Tuesday, October 27th in the year of 2020. Now in this lesson, we are gonna be describing what end in punctuation marks we use at the end of our sentences. So the first one I wanna go over is the period. Now this is the most common pu punctuation mark because a periods are used to describe a statement in a sentence. So a statement can be like, the sky is blue, it is two o'clock, um, I have a pet dog. So a, pe um, a period is used to describe a statement or something that is happening. Now the next punctuation mark I'm gonna go over is the question mark. So obviously we call the question mark is when you have a question. So this is a question you're trying to figure out the unknown to. So you could say, what time is it? What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? What should I wear tomorrow? What should I eat for dinner? So this guy, the question mark, is going to be used when you are writing a question, um, writing down a question. So you're going to be ending that with a question mark. Now, the last one I want to go over is the exclamation point. Now, I like to call this one the exciting mark because this is used when we're describing something very, very exciting. So, for example, you want a million dollars. You want a free trip to Disney World. You're going to get a new puppy. Halloween is five days away. So, this is the um, um, punctuation mark you're going to be using to describe something really, really exciting. So, these are the three that I like to, um, this is the three you're gonna use at the end of every sentence. The period to describe a claim, the exclamation mark to describe something really, really exciting, and the question mark is when you're trying to figure out the unknown, okay? Now, on Class Dojo, I'm gonna give you this worksheet. Since we're learning about the short E um, for the next two weeks, since our next spelling test is gonna be with short E words. So, but if you look at each of these um, sentences and statements, what do they all end with? A period, because they all describe a statement. So the first statement says, Meg has a hen. She has a pet hen. That is her statement. The next statement describes the hen likes seeds. So this sentence is saying um, what the hen likes to eat. So for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they like to eat seeds. Meg's hen can peck. So this statement describes a action that her hen can do. Now, the, these are three different types of statements, right? Because they all, have, all end with a period. But if you go down here, now we know all these are questions because they all end with a question mark. So the first um, question says, who has a hen? So this question is trying to figure out who has a hen. So it's up to you to go up here to figure out which of these statements best um, go with this um, question mark. Now the next um, question says, what does the hen like? So like I said, you're going to go up here and copy down one of these statements to best fit um, this question right here. Now, the last question is, what can the hen do? So you go um, back to one of these statements to best fit this question, what can the hen do? So um, you can either, I'm going to post this worksheet on Class Dojo so you can print it out, or if you just want to get a different sheet of piece of paper and write it down, that's totally fine. Whatever is easiest on you, but this um, worksheet is going to be on Class Dojo. Thanks.